Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting December 12, 2016. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for joining me. Um, make sure to watch your Moon and Rising sign readings for additional messages and just keep an open mind for the messages that come through. Um, and I invite everyone to take advantage of the New Year special which is a 20% discount on yearly forecasts and six month forecasts. And you can find that on the specials page on my website and the link is in the description box below. And I invite everyone to take part in the raffle that's running until the 15th. So now would be a good time to check it out if you're interested. Okay, so Libra, you've got a few major arcana cards in your reading and um, I'm sorry, um, my voice isn't that great. I actually have a bit of a cold, but I hope that you can hear me okay. So you have a few major arcana cards in your reading and with these cards they're telling me that um, karma is playing a really big part in your life during this week and you may find yourself changing paths whether it's in your relationships or with your jobs um, whatever this is for you this is definitely hearing a calling that may result in a significant shift um, in your life that is ultimately for the better so you need to trust that your uh, focus your current situation or your main focus is the tower so with the tower this is things being shaken up something being destroyed or it seems like it's being destroyed or taken away from your life at this time with the tower major shift major change happening out of the blue okay uh, you did not see this coming and now you have to deal with it you may be going through uh, a time of confusion and uncertainty. It may cause a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress. But with the tower, what you need to focus on uh, or what's going to help you uh, to focus on is whatever the tower takes away, it wasn't supposed to be in your life in the first place. Okay? If a path is destroyed, it was because um, it wasn't the right path for us, for our highest good. Okay, for us to be able to fulfill our purpose in the world. And so try to think of things from that perspective and then just welcome the opportunities and the, the further guidance that your angels and your guides are, are trying to give you. Your main opportunity is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. Okay, so your main opportunity is to um, make a dream come true for yourself, maybe to do with friends and family, maybe to do with your emotional situation. Um, the Ten of Cups is a conclusion, so I do feel like something's ending in your life with the Tower. However, remember that this is an opportunity for you with the Ten of Cups, so it's something that is good, it's something that is positive. It could be that a job comes full circle for you and now you have to move on. It could be that you're ending a career thinking about retirement maybe it's happening a little bit earlier than what you would have liked um, or maybe you have to retire because of some family related issues or maybe you have to take some some time off to heal the family to work with the family um, the ten of cups is also allowing things to come full circle so that you can have a new beginning okay um, if things are shifting in your life, just spend more time with friends and family. Let them calm you down. Let them uh, be your support system. I feel like things are going to make sense to you really, really soon as to why things were supposed to happen the way they did. Um, and this also, these cards talk about the opportunity to heal, the opportunity to make peace, the opportunity to make amends this week because of some sort of argument. Um, things erupting. Your main challenge is the judgment card. The judgment card is the card of karma. The judgment card is when we hear our calling and we have to follow it. Um, so your main challenge is to believe, is to have faith that um, you are hearing your calling. That's why things are shifting in your life. And then the courage to pursue your calling um, is going to bring you this beautiful opportunity of receiving blessings from the universe. The judgment card is also asking you to let things end. If something is ending in your life, let it end. It's time for a new beginning. It's time for a clean slate. And so the challenge for you is to just let things be. 
okay they will come to their natural conclusion and then you will have a beautiful new beginning because that's the natural progression of things so the judgment card is a challenge for you to have faith a challenge for you to embrace new beginnings to allow for endings to happen and for a lot of you it is a challenge in terms of having the courage to pursue your purpose your calling your vocation that will be revealed to you this week with these cards here, you've for some of you, you've been hearing your calling, but you did not pursue it. You were afraid or hesitant or for whatever reason, and that's why the tower happens for you because you have to pursue your calling, okay? So that's what I'm getting for some of you. Your advice is the lovers, and the lovers is asking you to make a commitment and stick to it, okay? So this is saying, find your balance. This is saying, um, commit to something, commit to your calling, commit to um, what you're being guided to do, embrace it, okay, with the lovers. It is also a card that talks about choice. So this is saying you have the opportunity because of what's going on with the tower, you have the opportunity to choose to see it as a blessing and make something beautiful out of it, uh, or choose to see it as something, you know, destructive and difficult and painful in which case you would be going through a lot of negative emotions this week and there's no point for that. There's no reason you should be doing that, okay? And so with the lovers, this is choosing to embrace change, choosing to embrace the opportunities, choosing to follow your path and making that commitment wholeheartedly, okay, with the lovers card. And receiving the blessings is also coming up here. Receive the blessings. And again, these blessings may not look like blessings okay when they come to you but have faith and embrace um, and in the outcome position we have the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles is a new beginning that comes out of all of the situation okay a new beginning that comes out of all the turmoil um, it could be for some of you that things are your job are shaken up you may be losing your job you may be forced to retire you may be forced to walk away from a job but don't worry about it. See it as a blessing and continue to look for the blessings and the opportunity. With the judgment card, you have the opportunity to either look for a, a different job, a better job for you, something that you love to do, and that is in line with your life purpose. And so by the end of the week, it's already happening for you, okay, because it's meant to, so it's going to happen quick. For those of you, this is love, okay? Um, it could be that for some of you, you have the opportunity to resolve a situation with a partner especially if you have a family together um, to mend a relationship to commit to it the both of you and as a result you have a new beginning in that relationship and this new beginning is more grounded um, and a lot stronger for you um, for those of you this is love coming in could be a soulmate with this energy it's either happening out of nowhere or um, maybe your friends and family have been trying to introduce you to someone you've been very, very resistant. This week is when you give in and you say, fine, whatever. And so maybe you meet someone who's actually really good for you. It could be an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay. So overall, it's definitely new beginnings. Good news about money coming in. Good news about job, career, home, property. Okay. Maybe you had to move out of your home. Maybe you lost the home. Um, your family steps in to help you and then when you embrace the change when you embrace the opportunities when you try to see things as okay maybe this was meant to happen what am I supposed to do with it now um, then you look at your choices you look at your options they're divinely guided for you with these cards and you have a new home by the end of the week or a good uh, option solid option Good news about health also with this energy maybe this is a health scare you have support through it you hear the calling you hear that you have that wake-up call and you're making different choices you have a better health situation by the end of the week or you're starting a new path that's towards better health could be like that as well so overall it looks like a really really good week it may start off a little bit shaky but stick with it embrace it try to see the blessings by the end of the week i feel like it's going to be um a wow week but you're gonna understand why things were supposed to happen the way they did so i hope the reading makes sense let me know what you think let me know how these cards make sense to you um thank you very much for being here and thank you for all your support 
Hope you have a really beautiful week and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.